and welcome back to my channel, Naps with the New Black. Today I'm doing a pretty special video with my good sis, Alyssa. I found her on Instagram because we both have starter locks about the same age. She started hers maybe a month or two before I started mine, but we're basically both around that half year mark. Uh, we also have about the same length of hair, so she would be my hair twin, however, we have completely different sizes of locks. So I have micro locks and she has traditional locks. I honestly think that every set of locks is really, really beautiful. And so I wanted to collab with her basically so that we could showcase the versatility and beauty of two completely different sets of locks, two completely different sizes. So today we are gonna show you guys six styles and how these six styles look on someone who has micro locks versus someone who has traditional locks. I mean, spoiler alert, <laughs> spoiler alert, they cute on both of us. But anyway, you guys know I do not like long introductions. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so for this look, I wanted to have some bangs, so did Alyssa, so we're separating our bangs off. And then I grab from my ear, she keeps some of the hairs near her ear down. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't take a lot of hair, so as you can see, the space that I actually grab, I want to say it's like two locks wide at the very base. So it's very, um, it's a shallow part. And I go to put the band on my hair. Alyssa leaves out her top ponytail, but I make a top knot, like a bun at the top. Because when I left it out, I just had locks sticking every which way and I could not get it together. So we went with a bun. And then I just put the little bangs to the side and I start feeling it. For the second look, we have space buns. I think this look is actually pretty self-explanatory. We both have our part in the middle of our head. I don't make this part as shallow as the one before this. I actually have it about, I want to say three locks or four locks um, deep into my head and just start making the little space buns. At this point, I was trying to figure out which way to wrap the second bun because the first bun is always really easy, but trying to get the second one to match the look of the first one, not so easy. I figured it out and here we are, I'm fluffing it out, tucking in the flyaways. I was determined not to have to use bobby pins. For this look, we're going to do another middle part. I just secure half of my hair with a ponytail while I try to cornrow the other half of my hair down. We're going to take one or two chunky cornrows all the way down and secure them with a ponytail at the end.
Okay, so I included this style, or I suggested this style because this is my boyfriend's absolute favorite style. However, it was not easy for me nor Alyssa. Here you can see me actually having to restart because I definitely played myself and thought my hair was longer than it actually is. So it was really hard gripping um, three quarters of my head into one flat twist. So as you can see, I put the part on the side, the left side of my head, meaning that like three fourths of my hair had to go into that one big flat twist and a fourth of my hair had to go into this little one that I'm doing here. After much frustration, I slowly but surely got these flat twists in my head, but they look absolutely nothing like a crown. If you want to see how the style is supposed to look, you can just look to the right of your screen because Alyssa seemed to figure it out and I just could not get it together. Regardless, I still, you know, we, we still got kind of somewhere with this, I guess. I don't know. I think it was a disaster, but you know, we're just gonna smile and pretend it didn't happen. Moving right along, we have our braided pony. So I do another deep part. This part is like four or five locks deep into my head. And then I put the rest of my hair into a ponytail in the back. Then I start to braid sideways instead of straight back, like sideways down that part, or I guess diagonally down the part, it eventually becomes sideways. And um, once I get to my ear, I try tucking the leftover pieces into that ponytail, uh, but here I played myself yet again and my hair was not long enough to just stay like that, so I had to secure that braid with a um, ponytail holder and then feed it into the back ponytail. So I loved this high puff. Basically all you have to do is put portion out your bangs and then put all of your hair up into a loose puff, or at least I found it was easier to do that first. And then you just tie a um, triangular scarf around the puff. And I'll just let you watch that. So that marks the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Let me know what your favorite style was down in the comments below. And of course, check out Alyssa's page for her take on this video as well. It was super fun doing this. Now my head's kind of sore from all the braiding and stuff. Um, don't do all these styles at once. Your head will be sore. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.